In today's society, everyone uses a computer. Most people use a password to secure information on their computer. However, what do you do if you forget your password? I stumbled across this program a few weeks ago and I thought, what a total joke. After reading many reviews, I decided to give it a shot. This program is called Oathcrack. It is a free program that can recover your computer password. My name is Daniel Henry and today I'm going to teach you how to recover your computer password using Oathcrack. You're going to need some materials and supplies first. You're going to need a computer that has a DVD or CD-ROM burner, the Oathcrack program, a DVD or CD-ROM, and an image burn program. Just to note, this will work on a USB stick, but because most motherboards today do not support the USB boot option in the BIOS, it's best to stick with the DVD or CD-ROM because almost every single BIOS will have that boot option. So that's what we'll be covering today. Okay, now let's begin the process of how to recover your computer password. First, you're going to download Oathcrack. You need to open up a web browser. I use Mozilla Firefox. You're going to go to the address bar and you're going to type in in the address bar, you're going to type in http colon slash slash Oathcrack dot sourceforge dot net when you're at the uh, Oathcrack screen you're going to go to the bottom right and click on download Oathcrack live CD depending on what kind of operating system you have for your computer if you have Windows XP you're going to click on this one if you have Windows Vista or Windows 7 you're going to click on this one so you're going to click on it, and then a little pop-up is going to come up, and you're going to make sure that you have the save in bubbled, and you're going to click OK. It's going to start downloading. And uh, the download speed, or the amount of time it takes to download, will be entirely dependent on your internet connection. Mine will download about 190 kilobytes per second. But I already have this downloaded, so I'm going to go on and cancel it. Alright, let's move on to the next step. The second step is you need to burn Oathcrack onto a DVD or CD-ROM. Okay, we're going to go back to our web browser. And in the, inter or in the address bar, I want you to type... HTTP colon slash slash www dot imgburn dot com slash enter. When you're at the website image burn, you're going to go to the top left hand corner and click download. Then you're going to find the Mira 6 provided by Image Burn link. And click on it. A pop up will come up and you're going to click Save File. This is a small file, it shouldn't take long to download. Once you have finished downloading Image Burn, you want to find the install file. I put it on, it went to my desktop. So double click on it. And if you have Windows 7 or Vista, this pop-up might come up. You're just going to click Run. Then you're going to follow the uh, instructions to install Image Burn. I already have it on my computer, so I'm going to cancel. <coughs> After you have it installed, it will put a icon on your desktop. Just find it and open up Image Burn. Now you want to insert a DVD or CD into your disk drive. And after it's been inserted, you want to click on write image file to disk. When the disk is in there, you're going to go to file, browse for a source file. 
and then you're gonna find the Oak Crack Vista Live CD or the XP one, whichever one you downloaded, and click on it, open it, and then this link right here, you're gonna click on it, it'll become clickable, and then it'll start burning to your disk. It might take a while. When image burn is done, it will play a tune. Now take the disk and insert it into the computer you forgot your password. Okay, the process is almost over. The final step is simple. Finally, boot your computer to the OpenCrack program. Make sure the computer is shut down. Then I want you to turn on the computer and watch for the key that will let you enter your BIOS. This key is normally F2. Then I want you to configure the BIOS boot order. Use the keyboard arrow keys to navigate to the boot tab. Then follow the BIOS instructions and select CD-ROM to boot first. Use the keyboard arrow keys to navigate to the exit tab and save changes and exit. Boot onto the DVD or CD-ROM. After the BIOS changes are saved, a screen will appear. It will say press any key to boot from the CD. You're going to press enter and the OpenCrack program will begin to load. After this, everything is pretty much automatic. You're just going to sit back and watch OpenCrack find your password. If it does ask which partition to crack, type 0 and press enter. And then you, after it finds your password, you need to write it down on a piece of paper so you can remember it, so you can type it in once you try to log in. In conclusion, you now know how to recover your computer password. These steps include downloading OpenCrack, burning OpenCrack onto a DVD or CD-ROM, and booting your computer to, OpenCrack, to the OpenCrack program. I hope you have found this demonstration useful. Thank you for your time and attentiveness.